We're back on Access Hollywood Live with director John Singleton, who was nominated for an Emmy for his work on The People vs. O.J. Simpson. But it was 25 years ago this month that the first film you directed, Boys in the Hood, came out. You were 22 years old when you made that, 24 when you were nominated yeah. for the Oscar. What do you wow. remember most about that time in your life? Just being scared as hell. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I kept up a front like, okay, you know, I'm not impressed. I was like, you know, like this, but I was like, I'm realizing all of my dreams, all of my dreams, but I had to be, you know, you know, from LA, Absolutely. when you're really, really nervous, you puff your chest up, you know, you know, it's the same way in the barrio yeah. as it is in the hood. It's yeah. like, you know, just like, yeah, I got this. I got this. What were you nervous <laughs> about? That was my attitude. What were you nervous about? Was it the subject matter? Was just, it just the fact that my life was changing so rapidly and I like, and I wanted to try to hold on to who I was as much as possible. You know, you get into entertainment, a lot of people just lose their mind. And that, you know, I went to film school. So my thing was really about being a, as good a filmmaker as I can be, to study film, to, to explore, and try to do it in a, in a, in a different way possible. And it's still, it's still it's a sweet lives movie. It's now. Not a, yes. it's, it, it, has, it has very, very tough subject matter in there, but it's a very, very sweet, warm, loving picture. I went with my whole track team in college, and uh, we just loved it. I can still watch it today. Uh, is the music, is the uh, movie industry changing at all? So we said that was however many movie years ago. Movie industry has changed so much that a movie like Boys and Hood can never be made now. I Why? mean, like, because people want to, you know, they want to fetch over all these little things like, oh, you gotta do this, and then you gotta do this, and then instead of like having filmmakers who have a straight vision and that have something to say or that can entertain as well. Just let them go and do what they gotta do. Have you seen the director kind of role change too with, it, with producers and things that... Well, they hire directors that they can basically right. tell what to do. Not, not you know, and, and one thing that I learned was, you know, the director should be the person in charge of, of everything and you have to trust the director, right. let the director do what they have to do. And, and, you know, if you trust the right person, then you'll be fine but you have all these cooks in the kitchen. It doesn't work. But the subject matter, I look at it now, and now we're 25 years mm -hmm. later, and the subject matter is still there. <laughs> What's the new show you're doing for BET Rebel about? Uh, uh, Rebel, yeah, Rebel is a detective thriller. It's a, kind of a, a, a noir thriller with a black woman in Oakland, California. It's like, uh, I, I love it because it's like, it's never been done before. I call her the human tornado, mm -hmm. you know, because you have this character who's gone through a very, trying personal um, period in her life. Um, I won't tell what, what happens, but it has something to do with her being a cop and something happening with her in the police force. And then she transcends into becoming a uh, uh, private eye. It's kind of like the shaft with a, with a sister. You're TV now, John. You're on TV. Anything, yeah, I don't think there would be a better place to put it than in Oakland as well. Yeah, exactly. There's a great. lot of stuff yeah. happening in Oakland right, right now. Is TV where it's happening now? TV is where it's happening right now. Yes, TV is like... TV is, 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 is the new journey. It's like, it's, it's like you get a chance to, 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 to create these windows upon which millions of people like peek through the window and like, what the hell is going on in there? And you're, you know not, I mean? and you're not waiting like in movies. It's, yeah. it's fast. You get oh, to work. Like you're that. working all day. Like that. John, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. You just have the sweetest face. I didn't have heard how you cried at o What made you cry there? Was it Cuba Gooding Jr. back at People vs. OJ? Just the fact that we just had a deja vu that we were, that we were back on a set doing and then the scene was emotional and it just came out it came out of him he was he was trying to keep to a minimum of his emotion in the scene and he started crying and i started crying behind the monitor and it just oh, it just came out you know, are you so. snoopy tears or just drip down the face it was just, it was just <laughs> drippy <laughs> tears. Just on the side. <laughs> How cute thank you john and congratulations oh, the 68th you. emmy awards are september 18th on abc